Now that you've tasted your wine, it's time to decide. Do you like it or not? And just remember to decide when you try your wine with food, too. Some wines are great to sip on their own. Other wines are built for food. Here's more. Then after you've described your wine, you want to decide whether you like it or not. And the only thing I'll say is really tr give wine a try with food. In America, we kind of grow up thinking about wine as just a cocktail, just something we sip on the back porch. But in Europe and in many other countries, it's just common that wine is part of the recipe of your meal. And some wines you won't like them without food, but with food they'll open up and become wonderful. So just like your mom told you not to judge a book by its cover, you know, give people a chance, give wine a chance with food. And your decision for wine that you want to sip on the back porch versus wine you want to have for dinner might be very different. So to review, our tasting process is to look at the wine, smell the wine, taste the wine, describe with my three-step process, and then decide if you like it or not. And in the end, us cork dorks, tasting is it. That's what we love to do, and it's the single most important skill you can have. So continue tasting, and you'll continue learning. Cheers! Hi, this is Lori Forrester, the Wine Coach. I hope you enjoyed this video. I invite you to visit my website at thewinecoach.com. If you sign up for my free newsletter, you get two gifts from me a report on decoding restaurant wine lists, and a tasting note template to record your favorite wines. Hope to see you there. Cheers!